A new report out today may have more Canadians seriously thinking about their alcohol consumption. The Canadian Centre for Substance Abuse and Addiction has released its first drinking guidelines in 12 years and the changes are drastic. In 2011, the recommendation for women was no more than 10 drinks per week. The recommendation for men, no more than 15. Here are the figures. The report classifies low risk for men and women as two drinks per week, two. Moderate risk is three to six and high risk is seven or more. A single serving amounts to one 12 ounce glass of 5% alcohol, that's a beer, or a five ounce glass of wine or a half uh, one and a half ounces of a spirit. The report also lays out the associated health risks. Most notably, it says three to six drinks per week puts an individual at an increased risk of developing cancer. Seven or more increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. The report's authors also note that with every drink in excess of seven, the risk goes up radically. Was Dr. Marla Shapiro, CTV's medical contributor. Good morning to you, Dr. Marla. So let's start by discussing what is a standard drink. So, you know, when you go to a restaurant and they offer you a glass of wine, they'll say six or nine ounces, mm -hmm. and that's well above because a standard drink, if you're looking at wine, is about five ounces. If you're looking at beer, it's about 12 ounces or a bottle of beer and if you're looking at hard liquor it's about an ounce and a half so that's the first thing that most of us can't count how much we're having because we don't really know what a standard drink is and certainly most people don't know how many drinks are in a standard bottle of wine for example if you're drinking at home. I see so many people with those goblets of right. wine so clearly that might be beyond what is a standard drink. What are the guidelines showing then? So first update since 2011 Canadian yeah. data not a surprise based on what we've heard from the World Health Organization. The only zero risk is zero drinks. When you hit to two drinks a week, a week, you're looking at low risk. Three to six drinks a week is moderate. A daily drink, you're looking at high risk. And when you start getting to those moderate risks, you're beginning to recognize the fact that alcohol is a carcinogen. It can cause cancer, cancer of the throat, the pharynx, the larynx, the esophagus, breast in women, colorectal. So often people aren't aware that this actually is equivalent to, for example, smoking. Do you talk about safe levels? When am I going to increase my risk of lung cancer? You need to understand the relationship between alcohol intake and the outcomes. And then when you look at a daily drink a day during a week, seven drinks, you're looking at an increase in heart disease and stroke. I just want to reemphasize for everybody we're talking two drinks a week? That's right, and we're talking about, for example, if it's a glass of wine, five ounces. So it really is highlighting that the quantity of what we drink we're often unaware of because we don't really understand what a standard drink is and we don't understand the relationship between intake and risk, heart disease, cancer, stroke, and so on, in women getting higher pregnant. Than men? Higher than men. We're looking at, for example, difficulty getting pregnant, maintaining pregnancy. Most women are aware of the fact that you can't drink during pregnancy because of something called fetal alcohol syndrome. But, you know, those guidelines that used to look at 10 drinks a week for women, 15 drinks for men, those are quite outdated. And this is looking at all the new data that we have really highlighting, understanding the dose relationship in terms of outcome and risk. So what do you think in terms of public service announcements, the federal government putting messages out there about the risk, what should be done? I know people want to see it on bottles. Yeah, and, we, on and bottles. we do have a study from 2017 that showed that when the cancer risk was put on a bottle, it decreased drinking by about 7% in that one particular store that had the labeling. So it's like any other known carcinogen and, and exposure. I think we need to have a lot of education on what a standard drink is, what the relationship is between intake and outcome, potential in terms of health, having labeling on bottles, and also understanding on a bottle how many serving sizes are in this bottle, which most people don't understand. Fascinating stuff. Real talker today. Absolutely. Dr. Marla, thank you so much.